<laughs> it's been you this whole time. These videos are not for children. If you are a children, then piss off. Channel. Hey there, I'm V Infuso, and along with me is Reyes World TV. Reyes, say hi to the good people at home. Hey, what's up, guys? What's the best you got? I mean, probably for now. Uh, you they're they're uh, gonna be mad at me later on. They're, okay. they're gonna, well, they're gonna be mad at you. <laughs> probably immediately. <laughs> you upset people, and, and quite frankly, that's actually why I bring you on my channel. So today, we're gonna be looking over our top five jokers. Meaning my top five jokers and his top five jokers. Keep in mind, this is all opinion based, and all of Reyes's opinions are going to be wrong. So, with <laughs> that's that, what you think. With that being said, why, why don't you uh, start us off with your number five pick for best joker? Oh, you want to start with me first? Go ahead. All right. Well, my number five pick for a joker is Jarrett Leto. Reyes. <laughs> It took literally under a minute for you to completely <laughs> derail this video. Listen, you know? he's in the bottom of the five. It's not like he's number one. It doesn't matter. He's, like, he's like you, the bottom. Out of all the Joker betrayals, like literally, I think he, he might be literally at the bottom. I wouldn't say that. Not only would I, but I just did. I thought my jokes were bad. I think Jared Leto definitely portrays a very different type of Joker. A Joker we haven't seen one before. One that sucks. I mean, it sucks for people who aren't willing to see a different taste of a Joker. Yeah, now, but if, if, it, if, it if, if, if that new taste is shit... Yeah, but the <laughs> thing is that it, do, it doesn't help that it was in a bad movie. It was a bad performance in a bad movie. No, no, no. Because the thing is that Jared Leto has so much potential. Because ah. the thing is that he's also a phenomenal actor. Are you sweet talking me? Jared Leto is a good actor. Jared Leto is a good actor. Yes. I will give you that. I will grant you that. Jared Leto can, in fact, act. He has, you know, had good performances. I see them! That's why I thought him as Joker was going to be great. I can tell you meant that. But I just feel like he didn't really understand what made the character tick the way that he believe that he did. Everyone knows that Joker's crazy, but the thing is is that there's a method to the madness. This movie didn't really have any method to, to his madness. It was just madness. That's because and, it, and was... it was like I, I just hate hot topic Joker and I think that he it's just it, he, it's so try hard. Like it's like I got gold grills and I got these tattoos all over my body. My Joker, hashtag my Joker, <laughs> would, would would not have tattoos. I mean but but if if he was to have tattoos, they would have some meaning. His tattoos are just like uh, the Joker, and he laughs. So he's got he's got a bunch of ha ha's on his titty, and then he's got like a smile tattooed on his the the back of his hand, and then he's got damage across his forehead. Come, that's just, it's awful. And he doesn't like Batman, so let's just stick a bat symbol with a knife in it. I think overall. Mm -hmm. I would change some of the tattoos if, if would, I was would damage to be the number one thing. Yes, hands, okay. hands down, get rid of that. What about the grills? Oh, uh, mm, it didn't bother me as much. So as as much as damaged. See the thing, the damaged one was. Um, what about the fact that he's shirtless all the time and wearing a trench coat? Doesn't bother me. That does bother me. That's so not Joker. Well, the the thing is that this is a different portrayal of Joker. I, I understand. It's 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 kind of like um like what you said in the last video. Depending on which one you, you put up first, I'm assuming the Batman one's gonna be first. Let's hope. So, um, we did a Batman video previously, mm. but um, just like how you said, like um, you don't want things to always take out of the source material. You kind of just want it to be like its own thing for a little bit. Well, well, hold on. 
I do want the characters from the source material. I just don't no, want so do the source I. material. But here's, here's the thing, though. I, I felt Jared Leto definitely could have ha- had a lot of potential. But also, we, we're, we're basing, like, we're basing off of 11 minutes of actual Joker in the film right. that's not extended. I understand. If, if we get ex- if we get, to, to if fair, we get extended it ends up being like 15 minutes. He needed more time. Well, I, you he, know he what? Definitely I, needs he, more time. what 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 they did show of him wasn't necessarily great. Those were like 11 really cringy minutes. I don't want no beef. You want no beef? You don't want Sorry, no beef. You don't want no beef. You don't like Did you see the deleted scenes? Well, I mean, did they come with the director's cut? Yeah. Like, they were in the movie. Yes, I saw No, that. no, it's not, like, you would have to go into deleted scenes. Yeah, I have too. not seen those. In the deleted scenes of Suicide Squad, um, you have Joker driving on the highway and stuff like that, and Harley Quinn... Oh, I saw that one. Yeah, Harley Quinn stops Joker, then it, it, it really comes to, like, a really good, uh, cool character development on how Harley Quinn is and what the damage um, the Joker did mentally to Harley Quinn. So, like, for instance, like, on how when the truck driver stops behind Joker, it's like, hey, what are you doing? Joker's not the one who shoots him. It's Harley Quinn that shoots him. Right, but that's, like... So, hold on, hold on. But then, like, we progress further, and, like, Joker's like, oh, you, you really want to be about this? You want to be about the madness and stuff like that? So, obviously, takes her to the place of... Ace chemicals and stuff like that. It's put like this. It's not my ideal Joker either. But as for a a movie that wanted to do something completely different with the Joker, God. I didn't hate it. I did. I, you are my guests to this handsome hunka hunka. Would you die for me? Yes. That's too easy. Will you? Would you live for me? Hmm. Huh? Yes. You got all dressed up for me? Oh, you know I'd do anything for you. By the way, I've got some grape soda on ice and a bearskin rub waiting. I thought it was... Listen, I don't hate it as much as everyone else does. I think that there are elements to the character that are Joker-esque. Um, what about his laugh? Awful. <laughs> awful. Awful. <laughs> I, I would just, definitely change the laugh. I would change everything about it. Look, the look sucks. The laugh sucks. I just... I, he comes nowhere near my top five, which is terrible because, let me tell you, I'm actually a Jared Leto fan. I'm just not a Jared Leto Joker fan. Are you enjoying yourself? No. Oh. My number five pick is Troy Baker. And uh, he portrayed Joker in the Arkham Origins game. And I believe he... I think he did it in the uh, the Batman Ninja Turtles movie? Oh, I was about to say the other um, Batman game. The Telltale? Telltale? I think Joker in that? I don't think so. I'm a Joker. I'm a smoker. I'm a midnight toker. Well, anyway, uh, I, I just, I really enjoy his performance as the character. You know, but the reason he's so low on my list is not because of overall quality. It's because, essentially, it it, it really is him. And it, it's both a credit and a detriment to why he's here. Uh, is because, essentially, he's rehashing the Mark Hamill Joker. Overall, it, it really just is a really good impression of Mark Hamill. Some of the time, you can't tell if it is Mark Hamill or Troy Baker, like it's really good. If it doesn't sound like Mark Hamill, people complain. They're saying that's right, not but, IQ. No, no, that's I'm not. not I'm, it's it's not bad. He's he's on my best jokers, but like you know, he's duplicating something that somebody else did. He's doing it perfectly, by the way. But it's it's already been you know it's just duplicating something someone else done. So that's why I can't really put it any higher. So when I hire you. To- Kill the Batman. You shut the hell up and kill the Batman! It's amazing what you can get done when you don't concern yourself with right and wrong. When you just do things for a laugh. It's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. This 
this one. Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. You know what? I'm actually going to make a call right now. I'm going to take Troy Baker off the list. Because I just now realized that there is an even better performance that I did not put on my list. That being Kevin Michael Richardson, I think it is. He played Joker in The Batman. And I really love this role. First off, this version of the character is amazing. The design is really different. He, he kind of looks like... He looks a little bit like, like the Monkey King from Jackie Chan Adventures. Kevin Michael Richardson is the character, you know, does a really great job. He he also tries something new, so it, it's a little bit refreshing. Every time someone puts the Joker character in something, it, it's usually nine times out of ten, somebody trying to replicate Mark Hamill. I enjoyed the Joker from the Batman because it you could it wasn't him trying to be Mark Hamill, it was him doing his own thing. Mm. And it was it was new and it was fresh and it was good. It was just overall good. Step right up and explore the insanity. Three shows nightly. Another voice in my head? What the more the barrier? So you're a shrink. Tell me, why do I cross the road? Medical report. Scott! Y you had a bad accident. You're a very sick man. Flattery won't save you. What happens when you team the crazy crime cloud with Gotham's very own Mayor Grange? Can't miss comedy, folks. The Batman? My biggest fan. Put run this out to him, please. I, I do think he's actually really underrated, and I'm so glad I just remembered him. He's one of my favorite jokers. It's okay, because I had to redo the list in my mind. So now what you saw on the paper, it's not going to be the same. Okay, wonderful. Perfect. So, my number four... All right. ...is definitely going to be Joaquin Phoenix. Okay, really? He's number four? Yes. Now, the only reason why is because this is definitely in... If no one has caught the pattern, I like when people do something unique with a character that I'm very familiar with and do something different. I like the fact that they gave him a solid origin story while also keeping his identity secret, if you haven't noticed that. Because he's because technic because he was adopted. Because so he was adopted. So exactly. Is. So by technicality, they kept true to the source material of him not knowing mm -hmm. who he actually is. I'm not, I'm not going to debate that. I, I, I'm surprised it's so low on your list. But, like, yeah, no, I, I agree with you. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix was, was great. Yeah, and I think... Um, it He's obviously on my list, too. I don't want you know, yeah, to... Yeah, of course. But I also want to give credit where credit's due. Like, Joaquin Phoenix did an excellent job on, like, how, like, we view mental illness in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So, like, um... I, I guess it's more of, like, the revelation of, like, trying to be nicer to other people. Okay. You know, because you don't know who's going to shoot you in the face. <laughs> I mean, she's, she's just be nice enough to people. Be no, nice of course. People, but but uh, it's like going up to somebody and be like, "Thank you for not stabbing me." But yeah, Joaquin Phoenix did an excellent job, and he definitely deserved the award that he got. Police, get what you fucking deserve. And the Golden Globe goes to Joaquin Phoenix. Hopefully, uh, you know, there's some people who may disagree with me on this, but. I, I kind of want to be a one and done. I don't want to see a sequel because I'm afraid. I sequels are gonna be good. I I'm afraid that I, I only I want a sequel, but I only want the sequel. Like I don't want it to continue after that. It yeah, just like be the sequel. Like I would because because you gotta think of it. The way I think of it is that like the first Joker movie is like a character study of Arthur Fleck and Arthur Fleck becoming the Joker, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that. A sequel would be great because it could be a character study now as of Arthur Fleck as the Joker. Mm -hmm. Like he he just made the transition into that role by the end of the movie. Mm -hmm. So like the next movie would be seeing him as that character finally. And, and, and you know what you you say you don't want a sequel, but a sequel comes out, I guarantee you'd go see it. No, no, of course. But the thing is, I I don't want a sequel because I'm scared that it's not going to capture the same magic mm -hmm. as the first one. So I'd rather it be a one-and-done film like Todd Phillips said it was going to be 
than to have a sequel. Not only There's that... There's no room to tell a story, though. Um, not only that, but some people told me some complaints. Okay. What was the complaints? Um, okay. like, some people told me that they didn't like, um, Joker because, like, it didn't capture, like, who the Joker really was. Well, that's what I'm telling you, is that it's, like... And I'm just, like... And I tried to tell people, like, this is, like, an origin. Like, this is how he's becoming the Joker, mm-hmm. you know, and, like... It's also it, its own version of the character. That's the most important thing. And, like, um... What's it called? People kept on saying that Joaquin Phoenix wasn't as smart as the Joker, and I'll easily debate them that Joaquin Phoenix's Joker was probably just as smart as the other Joker... Because the thing is that, but, but he has an understanding that is it, it's it's the starting point. That the whole train scene in general was very smart, very clever mm-hmm. on how like he blended with each characters, and then when he stole the person's mask, he got to cause chaos in the middle of the tra- um train. And even if it wasn't fully intentional, it still worked out for his favor. Mm-hmm. So like, it I took like little hints and pieces of like the. Joker we know from the comics Mm -hmm. from that film and I was just like there's a lot of great potential here that if they did do a sequel again depending if they do it 100% right Mm -hmm. could end up being probably better than the first one Uh, my number four pick if if you're done Mm -hmm. I'm done my number four pick is Heath Ledger that's really low it's it's not though it's not I think it's right where it needs to be I always liked his performance I thought it was good he really captured the uh, organized chaos uh, that is the Joker. Uh, there was madness there, but there was definitely a method. He was a man with a plan, even if the plan was absolutely, no pun intended, batshit crazy. So I always liked Ledger as the Joker. And for a while, he may have even been, like, maybe my second favorite Joker. My problem with looking back on him in that role is that the role just wasn't the Joker. The role was like this different villain. Similar to Joaquin Phoenix, if you think about it. Like, there's elements to the Joker there, but it's a completely different Joker. He brought up a lot of characteristics of the Joker that we haven't really got to see on film. I... Like, how smart... Here's the thing, is that everybody in those movies, and I like... The Nolan movies. But here's my problem with Christopher Nolan movies in general, right? Every character in the movie always talks like they're analyzing the movie that they're in and their role in it. As opposed to just being people who speak to each other, who convey emotions and exposition the same way people convey emotions and things going on in their lives in real life. You know, I'm, I'm just, a, I'm just a, a, a dog chasing trucks. I wouldn't actually know what to do with one if I had one. You know what I mean? Like, any he, he's talking like, I'm an agent of chaos. Like, all of that stuff. Like, again, I, I really want to emphasize, this is a positive list, and Heath Ledger <laughs> is, is at the top. Like, like, he's iconic in that role, and he should be. It was a great performance. Yeah, what's the difference between him saying, I'm an agent of chaos, where if we look at the comics, he's saying, I'm the clown prince of pr- uh, crime. Those are two different things. How is that two different Those are things? Two different things. It's literally. Those are two different things. It, it's one is him trying to examine himself, analyzing, being analytical. Him calling himself the clown prince of crime is just because he's an ass hat, you know? Because <laughs> like, he's an ass. My number three is Heath Ledger. Hi. Great, so we can continue this conversation. <laughs> That's wonderful. Perfect. <laughs> Continue. So Heath Ledger is my third. I like how I said fourth, and you're like, whoa, fourth? That's really low. Yeah, it is low. Heath Ledger's my third. (laughs) It's one above it. (laughs) Yeah, because he deserves that number three and higher. Heath Ledger definitely is made that role super iconic. Okay. For the newer generation. He was the first person... To introduce a new Joker voice. And I honestly, whole heart, I, I swear to God, I wholeheartedly believe this. If Heath Ledger was still alive, okay. that WB would have been casting him to do some voicings of the Joker. I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. 
Let's put a smile on that face. Why do you want to kill me? <laughs> I don't, don't want to kill you. What would I do without you? No, you. You complete me. You killed six of my friends. In their last moments, people show you who they really are. So, in a way, I knew your friends better than you ever did. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? My next entry, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix is your third. He's my third. You know, it was an interesting new again reinterpretation. You want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> these I, kids, I, they took my sign and they hit me in the face. <laughs> I, I just, I, I really enjoyed the movie. It's one of my favorite DC movies of all time. I think it's fantastic. And, and you know what? Honestly, what can I really say about this role that hasn't already been said a million times? Like the guy, the the guy, he, he, you could see that, that he had uh, some kind of passion for, for uh, being this character. You know, look at how much weight he lost. It was it was disgusting. I mean, you can see his ribs poking out. Mm -hmm. So, like, Joaquin Phoenix really... And Heath Ledger, too, by the way. They both really, in different ways, went all out for the role. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're both here. I really appreciate them. Joaquin Phoenix is undoubtedly my favorite live-action Joker put to movie. It's like Ledger. It's a reinterpretation of the character. But, you know, again, I do see the actual comic book character in there. There's certain scenes and certain mannerisms and certain things that he does that just remind me of the comic book character. You could see, it's interesting to watch Arthur Fleck because you're watching not the Joker, but you're watching the man who one day will be the Joker. I didn't think that they could do it because I, like many other Joker fans, is like, don't give us the origin. We don't want to know the origin. We just want the character to be the character, right? So, like, when they first said they're doing a Joker origin movie... Like, that was, like, red flags going off everywhere. I was like, no, this is going to be awful, because I also don't like DC movies. I'm like, this is going to be f***ing horrendous. Like, I have to see it. But they handled the subject matter with a lot of maturity. I, I thought Joaquin Phoenix was one of the best Jokers that have ever come to screen, and, you know, it, he was so good because he did something different, but I think there were, you know, homages in there to uh, to, to, you know, other versions of the character. Without a doubt. <gasps> oh no! I forgot to punch out! <laughs> All I have are negative thoughts. I used to think that my life was a tragedy. But now I realize it's a fucking comedy. Well, what's with the makeup? My mom died. Celebrating. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? That's what you called me on the show, a Joker. Do you remember? They couldn't carry a tune to save their lives. Oh. And he had a great laugh. Yes. <laughs> a freaky laugh, like, yes. like not, not like Hamill's iconic laugh, but like a, a unsettling, like I'm never going to be able to forget that somebody laughs like that kind of yeah, laugh. Yeah, like, um, I think he did it the best when um they called him into the office. Yeah, at the very beginning. Yeah. <laughs> but. So who's your number three? Well, for me it's second. Okay, so who's the second for you? My second one. Drum roll. Mark Hamill is my second. Mark Hamill is your second. Hey, bro, if your first is the same as my first, I'm punching you in the face. <laughs> Did you look at my list? No. Okay. So, Mark Hamill is my second. And I know people want... Generally, people who are Batman fans want Mark Hamill to be first on everyone's list. Mm -hmm. But, again, I'm the type of person I go with whoever does like. live action. What's a voice actor? <laughs> thing is that if you could do it live if you could do the voice and then you could do it even live action wise even better okay. but mark hamill obviously is iconic there's well, there's nothing bad i could say about mark hamill mm -hmm. you know the only diff the only reason why he's number two is simply just because he's just a voice He's an I mean, iconic voice I hate when you say that though like just a voice yeah well it is what it is suck it 
<laughs> oh, you are so right. And thanks to your smooth salesmanship and your silver tongue, I'm completely sold. I love Mark Hamill. Whenever people think the Joker, they always think Mark Hamill. Of course. And I'm fine with that because, again, of how iconic it is. And Mark Hamill, he's, he's perfect. You know, he made the Joker what it is. My number one and my number two pick... I am not going to say one is better than the other because I like them the exact same. So for me, one and two are interchangeable here. But my second pick I wrote down as Mark Hamill. <laughs> and I, I I think we probably have the same number one. Probably. And if we do, I'm going to be really pissed off because you didn't initially have that on your list. Yeah, because I just remembered someone else. I know. I, it's we'll, we'll get to it. You're going to have get to say it first, and then I'm going to be really pissed because then it's going to look like I'm copying your answers. But, uh, okay, so Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill is... he uh, The same way Kevin Conroy is Batman, Mark Hamill is the Joker. There's no if, ends, or buts about it. When pe Like you said, when people think the Joker, they think Mark Hamill. You know, reversed, when people think Mark Hamill, they think the Joker. Or mm -hmm. Luke Skywalker. And, and all the things that he's voiced him in. Like, like Again, same thing as Kevin Conroy. You know, video games, TV shows, movies. He's done it all. You know, like, there, there's there's almost nothing left to say because his performance does all the talking. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's he, the dude is the Joker. Don't speak to me again. Okay. Now, what is everyone in town talking about? Uh, your fish? I told you not to speak! You had to spoil everything, didn't you? Beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc, slapping around Harley, my hobby, by the way. They don't make straight jackets like they used to. I should know. It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight, it hasn't even begun. Without Batman, crime has no punchline. I think if um, I think he could do it in live action too, because he played. I'm not saying well on like the CW or something. Like he played the 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 trickster or the jokester before, which is all basically the same friggin' thing. And and he was he was great as. But my number one. You gonna say the same one I am? I just know it. I'd is, be surprised if you didn't. Cameron. Cameron Moynihan, or whatever from the hell his last Gotham. name is. Cameron Monahan from Gotham. The same one as mine. Yeah. The same one as mine. Now. Son of a bitch, Reyes. Cameron shocked me like no other person. Like, again, we've only had two other live action Jokers before, mm -hmm. which was obviously Cesar Romero and Heath Ledger. So. Jack Nicholson? Fuck! <laughs> you, what the I completely <laughs> forgot he existed. All right, so does we that, had. Does that affect your list at all? No, not at all. Yeah, no, mine neither. Because I don't I, care. I, I knew him. He, he'll be an honorable mention, but so we had three live actions. For anyone who doesn't know, aka, it's the dude who is the ginger in Shameless and the guy who plays. The Jedi pad one in um, the new Star Wars game, The Fallen Order. It's probably not new by the time this comes out. Yeah. So what he did was portray the Joker so well in mannerisms, you know, being sinister, his humor, you know, the way he looked, his, his laugh. Like, I, you know, it was at the point where, like, I had to, like, because as I was watching Gotham, I literally had to sit down with myself and go, is this dude better than Heath Ledger? And then... The answer you obviously came to was yes. Was yes, after a long time of thinking. It was going like, well, you know, who has more comic book accuracy, you know? Who, That's, yeah, absolutely. Who, you know, co you know, who has that Joker spark that Mark Hamill has? Mm -hmm. And that was easily Cameron, and honestly, like... And it sucks because CW, they don't acknowledge him as a Joker because of legal reasons, well, but... Well, I don't think that was on CW. I mean, uh, what was CW, it? CW, if it was on CW, they could have made him Joker. No, 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 not CW. Um, what network was Gotham on? 
Anyway, there was legal reasons why he couldn't be the Joker, you know, officially named. But we all knew who he was. We all knew he was the Joker. And not only did he play one version of the Joker, he played two different versions of the Joker. Mm -hmm. And he played them both well. And both of them knocked right out of the park. And I will say that the first one was a lot better. The first one was better. Was better. was better, 100%. However, the second version of the Joker was unique. It definitely was something completely different, and I did enjoy that second version as well. Um, highly recommend anyone who hasn't seen Gotham watch Gotham. It's a great show. It, it really, truly is. Yeah. So I, much better than it has any right being. Exactly. Like... Young young Batman solves a mystery. Young Bruce Wayne, not yes. Batman, solves mysteries. Exactly. And like... That sounds awful. <laughs> it was incredible. Exactly. I think that that show, more than just, especially Joker, but I'm saying like in general, I think that that show has some of the best casting. interpretations. Best casting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's best interpretations of characters ever. The Penguin, the Riddler, like just all, all the villains were fantastic. The Catwoman, all, all the villains were fantastic. Exactly. And I, honestly, like, with Cameron's performance in Gotham, I just... I literally cannot picture anyone else picking up the torch. Like and the, the and doing what he did. Yeah, and the beauty of it is that he's young. Yeah. So he could like, do it again in the yeah, future. I, I hope so. I hope, you know, WB is smart and is like um I mean, he's not super young. He's like probably three years younger than us. That's pretty young. You know. But he's three years away from being old. Mm, he'll be alright. Go ahead, continue. <laughs> but like you know, this is someone that I want to see as the Joker in a live action film. Oh, I would love that too. And I he deserves another chance. You know, if we could find a way to like after the the first Batman movie, depending on how that goes. You know what? If Nicolas Cage could find a way to become Superman finally after all these years. <laughs> if the Lego movie went out of its way to get Lando Calrissian to play Two-Face. I'm pretty sure that at some point in the future, unless, God forbid, death, that, that Cameron uh, Monaghue Cameron will definitely be playing the character at some point in the future. Yeah, and he's just... Even in, in his small capacity. Exactly. He's just a phenomenal actor in general. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's great on Shameless. Uh, that's the only thing I've seen him in, but he's great on that, and he's great in Gotham. Exactly. And so that brings me to my number one pick. Which is Cameron Moynihue. Monahue, whatever. Cameron Monahan. <laughs> Joker, one and two. <laughs> he, what, what can I say other than this guy, despite everything working against him, managed to perfectly personify this role. L- first off, let, let me tell you everything that was working against him. Gotham had a deal with Warner Brothers. that They could use... These characters, but they can't use these characters. One of the characters they couldn't use was the Joker, because at the time they were planning on making a Joker movie, which we now know about, because we've seen, and he's been included on the list. They don't want the character being used elsewhere. They think it will confuse people for one reason or another. Personally, I always think that that's bullshit, because I think if your character's in more media, it kind of brings more attention to that character, and it makes people more interested in seeing the character. Gotham wasn't allowed to use the Joker. So what, what Gotham did was they said, hey, Joker's an integral part of Batman. What we're going to do is every episode, we're going to introduce a character that could be the Joker. So then by the end of the series, you get to decide who is the Joker. Now, here's the thing. They brought in Cameron, kid from Shameless, to play the role one time, a potential Joker. And he did so well that they needed to bring him back. That they needed to bring him back time and time again so he can continue to be not the Joker. We started having a reoccurring role in the show. We started becoming a character that you see often. There were rules that he cannot have green hair, he cannot wear the suit, and he cannot, most importantly, be called the Joker. And despite that, Despite not having the classic appearance, despite not being called the Joker at any point in the show, not even in the finale, he was without a doubt the best Joker we've ever had. 
Mm -hmm. Because he was everything. He brought that same energy and intensity to like this role that Mark Hamill does when he gets on the microphone. This kid understood the character probably better than anybody who's ever performed it before. Give me a smile. <laughs> it all could go insane with just one bad day. Sorry, you're gonna miss my big night, Dad. But, hey, you're sidekick. So tell me, do I kill? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. If you don't sit down, uh, I'm going to shoot you. In the face. I know there is some human decency left in you. What's the secret to good comedy? Timing. How long have you been pretending to be brain dead? How long have you been pretending? That's a joke. I know you're not pretending. Looks like the bitch got me with a zinger in the end. Hang on to your hats, folks, because you ain't seen nothing yet. What a way, you know, what, what a career. He, he, he plays the Joker, and he's already a better one than Jack Nicholson. That's, that's an accomplishment. Shots fired. Everyone, everyone who grew up with them, with Jack Nicholson, is like, D -d 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 it's Jack Nicholson. The Shining! <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. If Jack Nicholson was more like Jack Nicholson from The Shining, it would have been a better... I, I better would have hated it even more. I Okay, well, I wouldn't have. But anyway, the 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 point is, Cameron Monaghue completely just... He has everything about the Joker. The way he presents himself, the way he delivers his lines, the things he has to say, everything about what he did with this character felt like the character from the comic books. He was fantastic. I will say, I liked him both as Jerome and Jeremiah. I still to this day think the Jeremiah thing was a little bit of a cop-out. And I think Jerome was the better Joker. Um, but when was all, when all was said and done, he was still great in the uh, finale. This is my pick for the best Joker. Hands down. Okay, so with that being said... I am V Infuso. Here with me was Ray's World TV. And that is our picks for the best Jokers. Let us know in the comments section uh, what you think we got wrong. And we will tell you why you are incorrect. Yee. I'm the Clown Prince of Crime. And that was the Prince of Personality, V Infuso. Or so he says. So if you like the words that came out of his mouth hole and you too want to become a V-tard, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow the man on Twitter, because it's not stalking if it's on the internet after all. <laughs> Join the fun by joining the Discord. If for some strange reason you want to show support, and I don't know why you would, and if you have a dollar to spare, head over to the SIJW's Patreon, where you can request videos, get exclusive content, and early access to scheduled videos. Or head to his PayPal, where you can buy the shirts. Oh, aren't those lovely? And just remember, if you're not tuning in, you're missing out. Yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs>